Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about Wanyanisen slash Pink Pilates Princess Essentials. And I say both because they're essentially the same thing, just that Wanyanisen is like Pink Pilates Princess but with Wanyang. So for people that like Wanyang or know who Wanyang is, then they will probably gravitate to the Wanyanisen. But if you're someone that doesn't know who Wanyang is, you know, like K-pop or um, you don't know who she is, then you probably follow Pink Pilates Princess. Bum, bum. First thing is a curated makeup collection. Here's my little makeup collection and I say curated because it doesn't have to be a big collection. What I mean by curated makeup collection is that you take the time before buying makeup or getting any makeup, take the time to study your face and kind of study makeup a little bit and find out what is the best makeup and when it comes to color when it comes to how to apply it and take that as a guideline when you're gonna buy your makeup that way you won't have like a huge makeup collection where you're gonna be finding yourself not using most of the items I decided to create my curated makeup collection i really spent days and days watching videos and studying makeup um, especially from um, dear pc i really like them and i really appreciate all the hard work they put on their videos because they really helped me so much when it comes to um, applying makeup, the way I do my hair and all that and it really boosted my confidence so I feel like taking the time to do this before you buy any makeup or like skincare even or hair care or do anything to your hair just learn what is the best for your face type, your body type and all that and that way you can buy things that you're actually gonna use and they're actually gonna make you feel more confident because the one unit is an aesthetic, it's all about being confident and being your best self. And if you want to see what's in my curated makeup collection, I did a video not too long ago where I showed everything that I have in here. I'm going to be linking it somewhere around this uh, video or I'm also going to be having it in the description of this video. The next thing is skincare. A really good skincare collection, skincare routine that works for you. And again, in this aesthetic, it's really good to have a skincare routine and not just in this aesthetic, but it's really emphasized on this aesthetic which i really love because i love skincare and having a really good skincare routine is really good because it's going to help you to have your best skin and again it's going to help you to be more confident in yourself and it's also a time to take care of yourself which is really important when it comes to skincare something to look for um, when you're trying to recreate the one young some aesthetic uh, pink pilates princess aesthetic is to make sure that um, of course you want your items to be like good for you also like good quality and for your skin type but if you can try that the makeup it's in a cute container um, or pink even better because it just goes with the aesthetic and right now a lot of skincare brands are trying to make their containers really cute and aesthetic and I really appreciate that so um, as for Innisfree, I have the Innisfree Green Tea Serum and I believe even if it's green, I feel like it's a really pretty container. It's glass so it looks really nice and I feel like pink and green is a really nice color combo and the Pink Pilates Princess aesthetic of green tea and matcha is something big on this aesthetic so having a pop of green on this aesthetic I feel like it's just really cute. And also like pink containers like this, they're just perfect um, so try to find skincare that is in pretty cute containers that is either pink white or maybe even green like this why this is my face wash and it's white with pink so i feel like it's aesthetic and it's also glass so i feel like it's healthier too the next essential is journals and planner the reason why this is here is because in this aesthetic it's really important that you are healthy physically and mentally and I feel like journaling really helps with that we get to know yourself um, whatever you're journaling about and also having a planner helps you to be more organized in your day-to-day -day life and helps you be a better version of yourself I have these two right here this one is my main planner and actually this is my planner from last year um, it says 2022 agenda but um, when it was done there was like a bunch of um, empty pages at the end and I just really really love this planner it's just the perfect pink color and I just love that it opens up easily you know I just don't like the notebooks that when you open them they just kind of close that's really uncomfortable so I, so I just really got attached to this um, planner so since there was still some papers left I decided to keep using it this year 
um i think i only have like one page left which is really sad but i'll have to find something else but this is the planner that i'm using right now it's pink it's super cute i feel like it goes perfectly with the aesthetic i also have this this is my journal and also it's pink and it says own your magic which i feel like it's really really adorable and it's perfect just having a journal and a planner will really help you and also for this aesthetic um it has to be pink or white that it goes with the color scheme unless you're going for that darker one unison aesthetic then i feel like maybe you can um, go with a darker color but if we're going with the pink color princess of course pink is in the name of the aesthetic so things have to be pink the next item is white sneakers and i feel like i've seen this a lot in this aesthetic especially because pink pilates princess it's a lot on fitness like of course pilates so the outfits are very kind of sporty but girly at the same time and also i've seen Wang young using a lot of white sneakers on her outfits so I feel like this is definitely an essential for this aesthetic because it will go with a lot of your outfits and they just look super adorable. Next essential is headbands and it's right here. And this is more geared towards the one unison one because I decided to put this on the list because I see when you're using a lot of headbands. So I feel like having a couple of headbands to go with your outfits would really help you um to recreate this look especially if you're going more into that one unit some aesthetic i feel like headbands just really help you to kind of add a little bit something to your outfit the next thing is hair care products and the reason why this is on the essentials is because again we're coming back to the taking care of yourself a lot of self-care and being your best self and having a couple nice items to take care of your hair is very important because i feel like Personally, I believe that hair is more important than makeup. I feel like when you have good hair and your hair looks healthy, shiny, um, no matter what hairstyle, but if it looks healthy and shiny, it'll make you and your outfit look so much better. Like you can have the most awesome, the most expensive outfit, but if your hair is messy and you haven't brushed it, the outfit is not gonna look as good. The same as if you're wearing a uh, very budget outfit but if your hair looks amazing you're gonna look like a million bucks but my hair care routine is very simple i just use shampoo conditioner i do hair mask like once a week and i like to use a uh, hair oil i'm currently using this one the olaplex one and i would like to get like a more aesthetic one because this one is not that aesthetic the container but the product is really good it really makes my hair shiny and it really helps to repair the bonds in my hair. The next thing is the water bottle, preferably pink or white. The water bottle that I have is this one right here. It's really cute pink with sakuras, but you can get any cute bottle that you like. And it's definitely an essential because obviously in this aesthetic, um, it occurs you to work out and move your body. So having water with you all the time is really important too help you to keep hydrated and also if you have a cute bottle I feel like it motivates you to drink more water the next essential is headphones and the ones that I have are this one right here these ones are like like this the other one I left it somewhere around I don't know where I left it but I just love these headphones um they're so cute and of course they're pink um, but they don't have to be pink I feel like you can either go for pink or white on the headphones and I usually see the ones that are like big, like to use them more for this aesthetic, the ones that are big, they're really cute. I would like to get some of the other ones too, but these ones are the ones that I have and I absolutely love them. These ones are amazing. I'm gonna link them because I am absolutely in love with these headphones. It's definitely an essential because when we're working out, we wanna put our headphones, listening to some music or an audiobook or a podcast. Again, um, for everything, like in the mornings, if you wanna listen to a podcast, it's really good to have headphones and audiobooks if you want to listen to your audiobook when you're going on a walk then these are perfect for that next essentials are lip oil or like a lip mask and i actually don't have any of those which i either will make like a diy because i feel like you can make like a diy but you can also buy one if you like and it's essentially a lip oil or a lip mask to keep your lips nice and moisturized so that they look really nice and soft and plump a little extra something to take care of yourself the next essentials is face mask 
um, especially like sheet masks, but they can be any type of face mask. The ones that I have right now is this one from La Creme. I really like um, La Creme face mask, but I also like the Innisfree one. I also like to make DIY ones. One of my favorites is a little bit of olive oil and matcha powder and it really helps to hydrate my skin. I really love that face mask. It's nice to have face masks as part of your skincare and self-care routine. And I like to do these ones at least once a week, but I think you can do them like twice a week too. And they're really nice because they help you like moisturize your skin even better. And I also really like to use these ones before an event or like before a convention that I'm gonna be putting a lot of makeup and I wanna make sure that my skin is properly moisturized. The next essential is a workout mat. And this one is the one I have. It's really cute and pink. And of course we wanna have a workout mat so that we can do all of our stretches, all of our workouts, our Pilates, our yoga. <laughs> Found one in Marshalls for like $10. So they're really not very expensive and I use this all the time, so I feel like it's something that I really appreciate having. The next essential is a workout set, like workout clothing that you like and that you feel pretty in to work out. And right now I'm wearing this jacket that I can't believe I found at the thrift store. Um, I found it the other day and it's just the most perfect Pink Pilates One Unison Aesthetic like jacket, like workout jacket. It's just super adorable and I see them all over Pinterest so when I saw it on, on Goodwill I was like immediately grabbed it. Quality is really good. It feels really really nice and I already used it so much so I feel like it was such a treasure to find. In a nice workout set that you like, um, preferably pink or white is the way to go and you can look for inspo on what to get for your workout set on Pinterest. Usually like skirts or like um, yoga pants or like jackets like this are really cute and like sports bras. If you stick to the same colors, then you can easily mix and match all your items. I feel like this will really um, motivate you to work out. So I feel like it's a good investment to find cute outfits for working out next essential is a cute pajama set and I believe this one is definitely an essential because this aesthetic is very focused on self-care and just a very soft and just a lot of being at home I think like I feel like it's just being at home to take care of yourself do things for yourself work out so I feel like having a really cute pajama set that you can have while you're doing your skincare and reading, doing all your self-care activities. I have three of my favorite right here. I have this floral one. It's one of my favorites. It's just so cute. It makes me feel super cute and the fabric is really soft. So I feel like this goes perfect with the one unison aesthetic. Same as this one. This one is also a set and this one is a little bit more baggy. So um, I really like this one. It's kind of like a button up and I saw Wanyoung wearing something similar in the sense that she had um, her pajama was like long pants and then the button up pajama top. So I got inspired by that and the fact that it's pink. And something that it's also good for this aesthetic is like satin, satin fabric like this, like silk from Shein. But I just feel like it's really adorable and it's such a cute set and something more airy and light. So I feel like anything that is satin, pink, cotton, and, and very cute is very good for the one unison and pink Pilates aesthetic. It doesn't have to be anything expensive, just something that makes you feel cute because I feel like it's important to feel cute even when you're going to sleep. Um, I feel like that's something that helps with, if you're someone that struggles with dressing how you want when you go out, I feel like a good step to take is to dress cute when you're going to bed because that way you don't feel like an imposter when you go out in really pretty outfits and then you go at home and put on your ugliest shirt. Um, that's why I feel like a lot of the times we feel like we're an imposter when, when we go out with a really pretty outfit and then we feel like this is not us. It's because when we're at home, we're putting on our ugliest rags. A way to combat that and 
start small is to kind of look pretty and dress your best at home. I kind of went out of topic, but it's something that I wanted to mention because it comes with pajamas and loungewear. I really love cute pajamas and loungewear because I spend a lot of times at home, so I really like looking pretty and feeling my best when whenever I'm at home. And it doesn't have to be anything expensive or extra, it just has to be something that it's pretty, like it makes you feel pretty and cute and also comfortable. Being comfortable is very important. And the last essential is ribbon. Something like this. Just a pack of ribbon. And this is just to put it everywhere. This is to put it on your clothing. This is to put it on your hair when you're doing cute hairstyles. This is to like add it into the room. This is so versatile and just makes absolutely everything looks cute. And as you can see on this aesthetic, putting ribbon on everything is a thing. And you will see that it will make absolutely anything look even cuter. Well, this is the end of today's video. I really hope that you enjoy this list of essentials for this aesthetic. Let me know what is your favorite thing about the Onionism slash Pink Pilates aesthetic on the comments. I would really like to know. My favorite thing is definitely the self-care aspect of it. The fact that it really encourages to make yourself a priority and take care of yourself. I feel like I found this aesthetic at the perfect timing because I was having a rough time and I found this aesthetic and especially the one unit some aesthetic really helped me to get out of a rut and it really motivated me when I really needed it. So I'm kind of attached to it. It's kind of silly to get attached to an aesthetic, but honestly it's not. Anything that really helps you in any way is important and to me this aesthetic really helped me in that way it really encourages a lot of us to take care of ourselves and do anything that we have to do to be our best self well now it is the end of the video <laughs> thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye